Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Epcot and it's the festival of the holidays. This is one of my all-time favorite festivals and we're going to be going around World Showcase trying all the food and beverage offerings, learning the history of Christmas from all the different countries around the world. My mom and sister are here and we plan on doing a cookie stroll, riding rides, eating food and just having a cheerful Epcot kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. First things first, we grabbed ourselves the Festival Passport, and I'm excited to show you guys all the new things they're offering this year. Of course, we have the holiday overlay on Guardians of the Galaxy and Living with the Land, but a lot of new food items and maybe some entertainment, and we're going to try to cover it all and just give you guys a kind of little guide in case you plan on coming. I woke up at 7 a.m. and I was able to grab a boarding group for the Guardians of the Galaxy. So I'm so excited to be able to ride that. And since our boarding group is 51, which would be called pretty pretty early, uh, I figured we'd stay just kind of on the outside of World Showcase because you don't want to head all the way deep into World Showcase and then run to your Guardians of the Galaxy boarding group when it gets called. So I think we're going to head on over to the donut box to start off with. As we make our way over to the donut box though, I wanted to show you some of the entertainment. Like I said, you learn the history of Christmas from all the different countries. And of course, you've got Father Christmas in the United Kingdom, Pierre Noel in France, Santa Claus over in the American Pavilion, and I love it. But my favorite is definitely got to be the Mischief Magical Barn Santa in Norway. And they just tell you what Christmas is like in their countries, and it really is such an amazing thing. We're also gonna try to fully complete the holiday cookie stroll. That's where you try a cookie from all the different countries around World Showcase. And at the end, if you actually complete it, you get a special little surprise. And my mom loves that. It's like her favorite thing. She always talks about it. So that's a must do for us today. Here is a look at the cookie stroll items. They have a holiday sugar cookie in Connections Cafe, a jingle sugar cookie, ooh, a couple of new ones, a Snickers doodle, like a Snickers doodle, the black and white, the Linzer, the gingerbread, and as you get them, you actually get stamped, and that's how you show that you got them all done. But I don't think they have anything here at the donut box. At the donut box, they just have a bunch of holiday flavored donuts, like the holiday yeast donut, or the eggnog cream filled donut. This all looks absolutely amazing and a gingerbread milkshake. The coolest thing about the donut box is they make the donuts right here fresh. Look at them back there. Ooh, oh, we got a whole donut box. Look at this. Since my mom and sister and also Kristen actually joined up with us, I decided on getting the donut box so we can actually try all the donuts, all the holiday donuts. I love the fact that the donut box comes in like a little festive holiday box, but take a look at these precious little beauties. I love this so much. This looks really cool. This is the cronut, and then I don't know which one is the eggnog filled one. Probably that one. That looks really cool. And then we also got some gingerbread milkshakes. Now one of these are boozy ones. Is that one? Oh, you can tell by the cups and how it's smaller. I, I asked Bonnie, I was like, hey Bon, get, get one of those gingerbread milkshakes. She's like, I got one of the boozy ones. What are you doing here? What have I started? started it. <laughs> We're gonna cut up all the donuts. We've got the cronut, which is like the croissant donut. This one is the eggnog filled donut. I'm sure this one is the holiday yeast donut. And then that's the peppermint one, obviously. But we're gonna cut them up into little pieces of four. All right, here we go. Cheers, Cheers. to eggnog filled donuts. <laughs> eggnog filled donuts. Oh, I like that a lot. This is a really, really good donut. I like it a lot, and I'm not a big fan of eggnog, but I would eat this again. Yeah. I would definitely get it. And we got a lot of donuts here. It's the donut gang. This one's the holiday yeast donut. Hey, we gotta do cheers. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. To be honest, I think I would have to say the eggnog was my favorite donut. And I don't even like eggnog. These ones are the same donut and they have like a dense feeling to it. The cronut is definitely second best. And the gingerbread milkshakes are good. I didn't try the one with alcohol though. Is this the one with alcohol? Yeah. Did anybody try it? Yeah, I did. Did you like it? Yeah. Ma, you like the gingerbread milkshake? I did. No alcohol though. No alcohol. You want to try the alcohol? No, thank you. 
the donut box was a great place to start. And I honestly, I really did like that eggnog donut. Now I think we're gonna head back to Connections Cafe because they added a cookie there for the cookie stroll and that's kind of cool. They had one there and over at the uh, Sunshine Seasons. One of the new cookies is here inside the Connections Cafe, which is the Starbucks. And I'm not too sure if that was a smart idea. This is always, this is like a very popular, like very long line already. And now I think they kind of made it worse. Look at this, holy moly. This is a super long line. Like I said, people got to get their Starbucks, but now adding one of the cookie stroll cookies here, I don't think that was well thought out. All right, after a very long wait, we got the cookie. And I think we're gonna rank the cookies. Like we'll let you guys know what our favorites were. And we're gonna try to complete this all today. So fingers crossed. Here is our first cookie on the holiday cookie stroll. We got it from the Starbucks and it's called the holiday sugar cookie. And I'm excited. It's a little bit soft and I think it's gonna be delicious. First cookie of the season. Here we go, a little soft. It is very soft. Soft sugar cookie. That's good. That's a solid cookie. I like it. And like I said, I think we'll rank them at the end. And uh, yeah, one cookie down. Put that cookie down. And here's our first stamp on our cookie. Look at that. Our first stamp. It's actually the shape of the cookie though. That's kind of cool. Now it's time we make our way into Guardians of the Galaxy so that we can do the holiday overlay. I'm just happy to hear Christmas music in general. I mean, we didn't even make it over to World Showcase yet, but I'm excited to see what Christmas songs are playing here today. I'm pretty sure the holiday overlay for the ride itself is just the audio. I don't think there's any Christmas lights or any other visual things. So we're probably just going to jump right on into the ride and see what the music's like. I'm very excited though because I do love the holiday. I love the holiday season, you know? Hope it's Jingle Bell Rock, Bonnie. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Do you know the rest of the words? Jingle Bell time. It's Jingle Bell time. Okay, standing for the jump point. This plane is never gonna work. Rocket! Well, okay, I've walked onto your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large man. Then you're likely doomed. Rex! Well, we just got done and I liked it. I thought it was fun. I am gonna miss the regular music soundtrack though because like, it was so much fun like trying to guess what song you get and it's gonna be just one continuous song for the rest of the festival. But the song is really cool. It's Run Run Rocket and I love the ending. You have to listen very closely because then you can hear Groot singing and he's like, I am Groot, I am Groot. And then Rocket says, let's be honest, the only thing I want for Christmas is that cosmic generator. And I thought that was really cool, but I am gonna miss Tears for Fears, I'm not gonna lie. Now that the Guardians business is out of the way, it's time to make our way into World Showcase. Got the tree up right there, and now we're gonna be hitting up all the festival boots. Of course, now that we made it into World Showcase, we have to stop at Mexico first. We have to head towards Mexico. I don't think they got a cookie there, but uh, it is a really cool menu with lots of margaritas festive for the holidays. And Feliz Navidad, we've made it to the Mexico booth, the holiday kitchen. They've got uh, Dolce de Leche churros, that sound pretty amazing. They've got a horchata margarita, a holiday cerveza. Oh, they also have a pomegranate, a, a pomegranate margarita. Both of those sound really cool. A lot of good stuff, but I don't know which one we're gonna go with. We have to uh, pick and choose here. 
here it is we've got the pomegranate margarita and then the mistletoe beer i kind of wanted to get them both bonnie you gonna try the marg yep. yeah all right so you try the marg i'll try the mistletoe all right. you ready yep. cheers oh i love my beer oh, wow oh you don't like the pomegranate margarita no. bonnie doesn't drink oh, I love pomegranate. bonnie bonnie doesn't drink no, my mom doesn't drink either, but she just tried that. I'm a little shocked. I don't like looking. Yeah, <laughs> what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> I'll try the margarita to let you guys know how it is. That's a good margarita. That's very good. I like it a lot. It's actually not too overpowering on the pomegranate. You can really taste the tequila in there, and the rim is very delicious. My mom and sister, they, like, I don't think, Bonnie, you guys have never had tequila before. No. Have you? No. And that was their first time ever drinking tequila. Wow. And Kristen got the Deloche Deschle. Deloche Deloche? Did Spot I do on. good? Yeah. Deloche Deloche Deloche. Yep. Deloche Deloche Churro. And it's good. It looks fun. It looks really good. Especially the presentation. I thought it was going to be little churro bites, but it's it's a whole churro. It's a whole churro. Yeah, it looks better than any Disney World churro, any other Disney World churro. Yeah. Either, so. Hey. How was the churro, Kristen? It, it was very good. I did really like it. I heard your review and you said it's going to be the best churro you'll get in Disney World. Is that, that true? Outside of Nomad Lounge. Outside of Nomad Lounge. I didn't forget to mention that. I didn't know there was filling on the yeah. inside. Look at that. There's like actual filling inside the churro, so very cool to know. Personally, I think I would just always stick to the mistletoe beer. It's actually a very good beer, but now I think we're going to head to Norway, and I'm so excited because I want to see the barn Santa. I want to see him. He's so, he, he's my favorite Santa out of all of them. I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. <laughs> beep, beep. Oh, it looks like the Barn Santa we just missed. His next showing is at 4.35, so we're going to try to come back. But this is one I just absolutely love. Look at all the little critters in the basket there. It is so good. They come out and they basically just tell the story of like Christmas and or what how they celebrate Christmas uh, in each of the countries. And like I said, Norway is just such an awesome one. There's also other Santas in other countries and different performances that we're going to try to catch as well. But if I could, I'm definitely coming back for Barn Santa. Right next to Norway is the Shanghai Holiday Kitchen. They've got the chicken skewer, the beef and noodle soup bowl. Even though it's hot out, I don't mind trying some soup. Comes with a slow braised beef shank, green onion, and house-made chili aioli. Chili oil! <laughs> no aioli, no one wants that. Yeah, and then they also got the Lucky Mo and a Lucky Foe. A Lucky Mo and Lucky Foe. <laughs> The last time I got soup here at the China booth, it looked like just like spaghetti noodles, so I'm hoping that they improved a little bit, but I mean, we'll, we'll find out either way. And here it is. Looks like spaghetti noodles. That was just, just like the last one I think I got here for the last festival. It looked, it was just like spaghetti noodles, but there is a beef shank in there. And then Bon Bon got the vegetable spring rolls to try, so I'm excited. We're going to dive on in. You want some soup, Mom? Yeah? Here. No soup for you. There you go. Where's the spoon? You didn't get any of the, you didn't get any of the beef shank. Oh. Just because it looks like spaghetti, I'm not hating on it. I'm going to try it. And I got a little bit of the shank in there with some of the noodles. Oh. That's actually really good. I mean... I don't taste much inside the broth itself, but the braised uh, beef shake is good. Yeah, I, it's, not, it's not that, it, it's actually really enjoyable. Honestly, I would say good soup. Good soup. Good soup. Try the meat. Try the meat, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bonnie's diving into the vegetable rolls. Go ahead, give it a bite. Let me know what you think. Very good. Very good. Hey. Hey. She wants some vegetable spring rolls. There you go. She wanted a cheers. She wanted a cheers. Oh, yeah. Mom said, wanted a cheers. You ever see that TikTok with the, the potatoes? And they're like, I thought we were cheers and plates. So take the damn potatoes. <laughs> That's my mom. 
Look, she's waiting for you to cheers her. No, you win Christian. She's dead. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I'll cheer. I don't want that. I don't like vegetable spring rolls. I'll try it. I'm not too sure I'm gonna like this. Yeah. You'll like it. Oh, I do like it. <laughs> I do like it. It's really good, actually. Some citrus sauce on there, and it's really good. I actually like it a lot. I, I would honestly go as far as saying I think I would get this over the soup. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Mom, stop eating all the soup. <laughs> I love a soup. <laughs> Now it's time to make our way to Germany, and guess what's in Germany, Ma? What? I think your favorite cookie, the Linzer. Oh, the yeah. Linzer cookie, I think it's there. Favorite. But they also have a lot of good food items too, so well, we might just order everything. Order the whole menu. Germany is always one of the longest lines, but this will mark number two on our holiday cookie stroll. Also, Mom, look at all the holiday decorations they have over there. Holiday market. Bunch of stuff. Look at this. You make me so doggone happy. <laughs> oh, there is some of the holiday market too. Oh, they got a Sven Spirit jersey. Do you see that? Look at that. A Sven and Olaf Spirit jersey. Yeah. Are you going to get one of those? They got an Olaf ornament too for Festival of the Holidays. Along with the Magic Band down here. You guys gonna share a spirit jersey? Yeah. How are you gonna wear it? At the same time? Yeah, they're both gonna. <laughs> <laughs> she does have the frozen. You do have the Olaf one from last year. That literally, I remember I bought it for you on video when I was making last year's Festival of the Holidays video. How funny is that? Wow, should have been here. I guess before we get to Germany, we're buying spirit jerseys though. Bonnie and Mom are both going to get one instead of sharing one because I told them I don't think it would work out great. Here is the Germany booth and look at all of the different food they have here. A porch schnitzel with mushroom sauce, a cheese fondue, the Linzer cookie that my mom's been talking about. And then also we might get ourselves a flight because they got some good beer here. The Tank Brewing Prost Feast Beer. And then they've got the hard apple cider. Ooh, they've also got some uh, glue vine. Look at that, glue vine from the, the office. I just think of Shrek. Oh, I'm torn, I don't know. Might have to get a little bit of everything, like I said. We ended up getting one of everything, plus some glue vine. And uh, now we're getting our book stamped for our cookies. Two cookies down. Two cookies down. Nom, nom, nom. I kind of sound like Cookie Monster, but I'm trying to sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's why I also said nom, yeah. nom, nom. Put that cookie down! If you guys have ever watched The Office, you'll know what I'm talking about with the glue vine because Dwight talks about it a lot, especially with Belschnickel. And when I was talking about how I like Barn Santa, he's like the closest thing to like Belschnickel that they would have here. And that's why I think I like him so much. My mom's gonna try the glue vine. It's funny, she never drinks but comes to Epcot and this is her third time trying drinks. Oh, that's good. It's good, right? Nice and warm. Yeah, and they put little cinnamon in there. Yes. And you don't even like, do you like wine? I, I do love wine. Though. You do love wine, yep. but now you love goo vine. <laughs> Cheers to spiced hot wine. That is so good, especially with the little min, uh, the little cinnamon stick in there. I might want to get a hot toddy once we get over to the United Kingdom, but this is so good. If you guys have never tried glue vine before, give it a go. You might like it. Here is a look at all of the food we got. I mean, we went all out. When I say, look well, yeah, look at this table. The stacked. stacked with <laughs> schnitzel, spatzel. <laughs> we've got fondue. We've got glue vine. We've got Linzer. This is this is the holidays right here. Now we're gonna try some of the uh, schnitzel here. Wow, that schnitzel's so good. Bonnie, did you dive into the fondue yet? Mm -hmm. Have it. Have some a little bit of that fondue for two. What do you guys think? Was that a carrot? Carrot. Yeah. You like the fondue? Olaf's nose. It's Olaf's nose covered in cheese. I like how it's like in a. It's like. Cheese, has no cheese inside of bread. We don't want. I mean, I don't like the melted cheese so much. The potatoes look good too, and I think there's zucchini under there too. Mm -hmm. I mean, overall, all the food in Germany is good. The only thing left to try, the good old Linzer. 
The good old Linzer, my mom's favorite cookie. Now it's time to try the Linzer cookie. And like I said, it's my mom's favorite cookie, but it might be mine too. I really do love it. It's so soft, it's falling apart right now. And I like the little jelly in there. Wow. That is the way. As we were sitting there enjoying our Linzer cookie, it looks like the Germany like entertainment for Christmas is coming out. And it's kind of like the Santa Claus thing, but it's more or less like a musical act where it just, you know, sings some holiday spirit. So I'll show you that. And then I think we're gonna run back and see Barn Santa real quick. Oh yes! Well, what a fine looking group! <laughs> yeah, even you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, well hello everyone! <laughs> I am the legendary Barn Santa! Woo! Here in Norway, they call me the Fjosnissen. <laughs> now, uh, some people can't see me, so they think I don't exist. So, wait a minute. You can see me, right? You can see me? Huh? Good, good. I can see all of you, too. <laughs> now, this time of year, here in Norway, we like to say, Go you. So let's all say that together on the count of Trey. Ready? Anton Treya, Go you. Oh, that's Oh, do you do 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 I am so happy we went back to see the Barn Santa. That is such an awesome tale. And he's a little trickster and I just love it. Definitely my favorite Santa of the whole entire festival. I mean, it, I don't know, it's a close time. It's a close tie between him and Father Time. Now we have made it over to Italy and we're gonna get food from the Holiday Kitchen here. But before that, just like over in Norway with Barn Santa, they have Laban Fana, I think her name is. She's like the Christmas witch of Italy. I don't know if she's a Christmas witch, honestly. I've seen it once or twice, but it is really entertaining. And I think we're actually gonna go there. But here it is, La Bafanana, a good witch sharing her Christmas adventure. And also Maria's here, LBV TV. Look. <coughs> So she is a witch and it's kind of funny because it reminds me of that video the the viral video where the guys are yelling about the wicked witch of the east and she's like hold up hold up <laughs> she's a witch you know what I mean you guys know what the video I'm talking about but she is a witch you must be hey, you're not going to do any magic today because we are trying to no Isabella we don't fly today we are trying to be quiet yes no you sit yes we don't do the magic today, okay? I, oh, oh, all right, all right, all right. You oof. Nothing. Have you seen any bad witches out here today? Ah, beautiful. Now, do you know what does this mean, Buon Natale, eh? Merry Is Merry Christmas. See, sí, Merry Christmas. Andiamo. You come. I have a story for you today, yes? My name is Love Father. And I am a witch. <laughs> oh, but I am a very good witch, see? No, that is why I have to disguise myself because the bad witches, they tease me. Aww. My country in Italian. So if you have been very, very good, I bring toys and goodies and sweets, yes? Now, if you have been Maybe not so very good. What do you think I might bring to you then, huh? Oh, Cole, I heard that. Uh-oh. Love of fun is going to have to keep an eye on you, huh? It's okay. I tease you. La Bafiana was actually really funny and entertaining and I'm sure I'm not saying her name right but I'm trying but I did get the great Bambino and that's important because I watched the Sandlot and that was kind of a big part of that but now I think we're gonna go to the Italy holiday kitchen and see what they what they're cooking up see what they're cooking up over there here is a look at the menu at Tuscany. They've got some fried cheese tortellini, and then they've got a salmon siciliana, and then also a bread pudding with vanilla cream. 
I mean, honestly, it doesn't look like there's a lot to this. Of course, the Italian margarita, which honestly, everyone loves the Italian margarita, but the prices are always so expensive here. I might be interested in that bread pudding, and maybe if my mom wants to try the tortellini. I know that the salmon is in kind of like a push pop. It's a salmon tartare, which I will not be trying that today. Bonnie, do you like salmon? No. I wish somebody tries it. I like salmon. Are you gonna try the salmon tartare? I don't really want to. It doesn't. I feel like now you have good. to. You just said that. Kristen's gonna try the tartare. All right, here it is the tortellini and broth. Look at this. They yeah, kind of reseal it in a little can there. It looks really cool, actually. And then the bread pudding. Look at this bread pudding too. Honestly, like I said, they, they always say a lot about the prices, but the presentation is outstanding. The presentation is up where it's at. All right, dive on in. Five cheese tortellini and broth. I'm supposed to take you back to Italy here. I'm excited to see what you guys think. Is it good? How about this Italy music playing right now? <laughs> Look at it Very inside cheesy. there. Very cheesy. How many tortellini they give you? Like five or six in there? Probably at least. Seven. Yeah? But you like it? You would get it again? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, she's going in for a second bite. I am. And I got the white sangria. Maria's got the push pop. I got the, the salmon tartare. Oh, yeah. salmon tartare. Second the stick. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Is it good? It's really good. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it even has like a citrus to it. Um, it Really good oil flavoring, almost like a limoncello oil. Wow. This is like a Let me sniff it. Yeah, sniff it. Smell it. Let me sniff it. No, no wiser <laughs> words have ever been said. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> Let me sniff no, that. Really good. They were they were all saying like, oh my god, what is this sitting out there? It is not. It's really good. So it is good. Yeah, delicious. Believe in Actually, Maria. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna get another one. This is some protein. Wow. Protein in a stick. Now I'm gonna dive into the bread pudding here. I'm gonna try to fork out a piece here. I'm not doing too good. Oh, oh, oh. One-handed yeah, attempt. I'll hold, hold on. I'll... Oh, there you go. There we go. Now I don't know if that P word stands for cheese, but if it is, I'm probably not gonna like it. No, panettone is like a, fr uh, it's a fruit. It's a fruit. It's a fruit. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a fruit cake. Oh, good to know. Yeah. I'm going all in. You know, I love some bread pudding here. I like it. It's not that great though. It, it doesn't taste like bread pudding is my issue. Like I was looking for bread pudding, but it, it doesn't taste like it. It does taste like fruit cake. Tastes like fruit cake, but it's bread pudding. Now it's time to head to America, mom. Santa Claus and also another cookie for the cookie stroll. Another cookie. Well, we have officially made it halfway around World Showcase, stopping at every single booth and trying just about everything. Now we're gonna grab uh, the booth here at America and I'm definitely gonna get the turkey dinner. Here is a look at the American holiday table. We've got the slow roasted turkey with stuffing, mashed potatoes, green beans, the blackened catfish with Hoppin' John and comeback sauce, and then the chocolate crinkle cookie. They also have a lot of good beers, but these are all very heavy, like chocolate stout, white porter, the eggnog beer. I think I'm here for the turkey and the cookie though. Here are the turkey dinners. I like how they put them in a bowl this year and you get a good amount. These are only six dollars Like isn't that like such a nice little snack, but the cookie looks so good the chocolate I think it's called the Kringle cookie. Yes, the Kringle Kringle cook the chocolate Kringle cookie That sounds so fancy. That's a hard word to say. I always get this turkey dinner though And I'm impressed, but I can't wait to try the cookie. So let's dive in a little leftover turkey dinner little turkey din din a little bit of everything in one bite. The perfect leftover. Oh wow, what the, look at the assist here. I love it. <laughs> Everyone's shining their lights on me. No pressure, no pressure at all. Is it good? <laughs> it is good. That is good. All right. Jojo, you gotta try some of this turkey dinner. Hey everybody. Come Happy on Thanksgiving. in. Let's Happy Thanksgiving. Right. Little turkey, gotta little get all, stuffing. Gotta get it all. Gotta get it all. Some turkey. Oh, don't forget the cranberry sauce. I think my favorite part is the cranberry sauce. It's weird. As I grow older, cranberry sauce becomes the new 
thing I enjoy the most. It used to be stuff. My mom's sitting over here nodding her head and grinning. <laughs> As you get older, cranberry stuff is the stuff. <laughs> That's the, That's the best. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's good, right? It was only $6. Nate, I wasn't supposed to eat anything, and now I want some. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to get some. You get up. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll get my own. I'll get my own. I'm gonna go on the record and say this is the best value of the whole entire festival. Six dollars for almost the whole entire meal. Mashed potatoes, stuffing, green beans, turkey, cranberry, and gravy for six bucks. You know? Leftovers. Leftovers. Yeah. I mean, this was like super affordable. All right, let's get into this cookie though. Bonnie, you ever wishbone a cookie? No. All right, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> you take one side, I take one side. Don't pull, pull, like rip, I guess. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Put that cookie down! <laughs> Here we go with the next cookie. Now, this is three cookies, right? Are we on three? That's the third, yeah. Third cookie. So, technically, three more cookies and we get our prize. Are we gonna be able to finish this? Are we? <laughs> We're gonna try. We're gonna go for it. No, it's very chocolatey. Very chocolatey. Linzer is still my favorite out of all of them, though. But this is good. Honestly, I have to say, out of all the cookies, though, like uh, the Linzer is my number one spot, and then the sugar cookie that we got in Connections would be number two, and then this one probably would fall at number three. But well, that's gonna change. We got the black and white one coming up, and then another really cool one. I think it's called the Snickers Doodle. So it's like a Snicker Doodle, but it's a Snickers, and I'm sure this is gonna fall down the list. Now it's time to move along. We're gonna make our way over past Japan. We're gonna see the Japan menu. They do have the Christmas sushi, the Christmas tree sushi. I'm only gonna get it if you eat it, Bonnie. No? Well, we might just show the menu and then hop over to Morocco to get yeah. the black and white cookie then. I like sushi. No sushi for you. No sushi for me. But, but what about sushi? you? Oh, me and Bonnie are both. We're getting that frozen hot chocolate. Oh, the frozen hot chocolate? That's what I'm waiting for. Aha. Uh -huh. The turkey dinner was great, but now I think we're moving along. We might skip over Japan because we're running out of time and we really want to get that cookie stroll done. And I think after that is Laheim, and that's where they have the black and white cookie, and that one's also a really cool one. So uh, we'll just start, keep on moving our way. Here is Laheim, and they have potato latkes here. They've got a pastrami on rye, and of course the black and white cookie. All good things here, actually. I like it a lot. And to life, Laheim Holiday Kitchen. So, how does soufli, soufliat? Soufi minat? But they're mini jelly donuts. Mini jelly donuts. And then here's the latkes, right? They're vegan. It's a vegan, vegan sour wow. cream on there. Wow, that's very fancy. I always love these. These are really good. And then the black and white cookie. This is actually one of my favorite cookies. I'm not going to lie. I really do like it a lot. So this is cookie number four. Cookie number four. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. Kit Kat bar. <laughs> you guys ready? I thought you were going to cheers. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Cheers. Come on. Grab a piece of that one. Wait a second. Wait. The chocolate is melted. Wait a minute. Usually it's like a frosting and it's dipped in there, but it's melted actually. The black and white cookie is actually really good. It's soft and usually it's kind of like a like chocolate shell on it, but it's very melty. I got chocolate fingers. Definitely need some napkins. You guys used a fork. You're smart. But honestly, I feel like it's best when you actually bite right down the middle and you get a little bit. What are you trying to make yourself look like a cookie? I'll do it for you, Bon. There you go. Now you're a cookie. I'm a cookie. <laughs> but yeah, you should definitely try like it exactly down the middle. Break me off a piece of that lock up, please. I know you want the one underneath. Yeah, you know, cream, no, so yeah. It, it is there. vegetable sour cream though, right? It is vegan, yes. Why did I say vegetable? It's vegetable sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Laheim. <laughs> that is so good. I do love it. And I would have to put the black and white cookie now above the chocolate crinkle cookie and the sugar cookie. So we're at Linzer, black and white, sugar cookie, crinkle cookie. You're gonna have a jelly donut? Thank you. What were they called again, Kristen? I'm not even gonna try. I know, but I usually ask you like what I call something. Is it I good? Can usually pronounce it. Yeah, delicious. 
Very delicious. I can usually pronounce these things. At least better than Nate. Yeah, you <laughs> definitely do it better than me. Okay, I just called it vegetable sour cream. Spugenot. <laughs> Spugenot. I'm sure you'll all let me know Spugenot. in the comments. So. Spugenot. <laughs> all right. Well, I have to say the lockers were a success. I liked them a lot. Now we're going to move along to France. And I wish we can see Pierre and Noel, but he already left for the day. Most of his showtimes ended at 5 o'clock. But there is a chance we might catch Father Christmas in the United Kingdom, and that would be amazing. Fingers crossed we might be able to do it. His last uh, showtime is in about 15 minutes. So we're going to have to go to France and then the United Kingdom. So we'll try. Here is the France menu and of course we're gonna have to try the frozen hot chocolate martini because that's such a popular thing but they also have a spiced pumpkin punch that looks really good and then I'm also looking at this macaron lollipop with peppermint and chocolate ganache so lots of good stuff here bonbons already in line oh there's Maria too what are you? Did you get the hot? Oh, one. look it! I snuck in the line earlier. Oh my yep. I'll be honest. They're really there good. Was, no, but there was no alcohol in it. Which is oh. Cool. Ask for a double shot. But all the ones I know you really like it. Can I get a double hot cocoa? Chocolate milk. <laughs> here is a look at all the different food items. The roti right here. I think I'm saying it right. And it comes with a little potato puff pastry, and then ham, and then mushroom, and then the macaron or the macaroon. And I like this one because it's like three of them in there. And I got the cranberry mimosa, and Bon Bon, you got the hot chocolate, the frozen hot chocolate martini. Look yes. at you. Mom's gonna have to try that because that does look good. But she doesn't like. Oh, you don't like. Well, you don't like uh, chocolate though. I can't have chocolate. Oh, but you can have a little bit of chocolate. A little bit. A little bit of chocolate. Yep. You know? Do you want to try my cranberry mimosa? Um, no. No, not so much. Yeah. Here we go. Mom's going in for the roti. Is it good? Yep. It's hot. <laughs> it hot. Yeah. What's it taste like? Ham. <laughs> Ham. Ham and like the sauce. Mm -hmm. What about the potatoes? Didn't try it yet. Yeah, those are like the little potatoes there. Well, they look so cute, kind yeah, of. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then here is the macaron, and it looks really good. The presentation is phenomenal. We're going to try to slide them off the popsicle stick, though, so that we can all try them. It looks really fancy, though. Like, honestly, I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> it looks really cool. Looks like everyone loves the hot oh, chocolate yeah, martini. So Is it? It's the thing, huh? The and here I am best. with my cranberry what mimosa. Come on. I want it to be different. Well, cheers. Cheers, cheers anyway. I'll try some of bonbons. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Just wanted to try the cranberry mimosa. I wanted to be a little bit different here, but I feel like I made a mistake. No. Oh. The cranberry mosa is good though. I'm not gonna knock that, but I do need to try the hot chocolate martini. Can I try some of yours, Bon? Ooh, fancy. I made a mistake. Dang it. I should have gotten the hot chocolate martini. Oh well. All right, we're gonna try to dissect this here so that we can all try some. And I just, ooh, there we go. Actually, that was really easy, actually. Look at that. Here we go, going in. This is so good. It's like a, a, a grasshopper macaron. I love this. You, you know the grasshopper cookies from Girl Scouts? So good. Wow. I was calling them grasshoppers, but thin mints are what you would call them from uh, Girl Scouts. And it's funny, fun fact about Bonnie, did you know she once sold the most Girl Scouts cookies in the world? Not the world. Oh, in the where? I just in in general. In general, like around our area. Yeah, she yeah. was in the newspaper. Yeah. Yep. Sold like six thousand boxes. That's a fun fact. Individual boxes. Individual boxes of Girl Scout where cookies. Them at? Oh, Sam's Club, Walmart. Everywhere. 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 Lowe's. Now we're making our way over to Canada. Two cookies to go to complete the cookie stroll, Mom. I think we're gonna do it. Two cookies. We gotta try the new one now. We gotta get the new one. That's at Port of Entry. Yep. 
I feel like Festival of the Holidays and Festival of the Arts don't have as many booths as like say Flower and Garden Festival or Food and Wine so we're actually doing good and making a really great time and there's honestly I don't think there's any other booths left except for the last two booths where you get your final cookie and then the, uh, the redemption where you redeem your cookie after you finish the holiday stroll so we're about done. We have made it to Canada at the Yukon Holiday Kitchen and here is a look at the menu. They've got seared scallops with parsnip silk, apple chutney and hazelnut croquette and then a beef bouillon, Snickers doodle cookie which is the cookie I was talking about and uh, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, scallops actually because you guys know I'm a big fan of scallops now. They also have the regional ice wine too that's also good and I feel like I haven't been trying much of the beer but they all look like the same. Here is the Snickers Doodle cookie and it looks so good. I'm actually really excited to try this. Now I don't know, sometimes they say they're the same cookies each year, but they do taste different. Like I feel like the black and wine tasted different this year, did you? It did. Yeah, it definitely did taste different. So maybe this one's going to be different. And then also these scallops seared scallops now if you guys recall i've never had scallops before and now i recently tried them and i love them so i'm very excited to try them this year especially with the chutney all right i'm going in on the scallops now i've only had scallops twice and they were at very signature restaurants i've had them at tiffin's and flying fish so i hope the food, I mean the uh, festival of the holiday scallops are just as good as all the other ones, but here we go, one bite here. Amazing, I love it. And I love the chutney too, so good. Now it's time for the cookie business though. I'm gonna dive into the snickerdoodle. Are we gonna cheers this one, mom? Um. Yeah, I just want a little piece though. There's not too much chocolate on there. I know. Break me off a piece of that snickerdoodle, Snickers. Cookie. Cookie. Cheers. Cheers. I'm pretty sure there's a little bug flying in front of me, but it's okay. I'm gonna eat the cookie anyway. That's good. Mmm. Wow. That's gonna be tough here. Kristen got the beef bourguignon, which honestly I just feel like is Denty Moore. It's Denny Moore. This is it. What? That's Denty Moore. What is that? What is you don't know what Moore? Denny Moore is? You know what that is? Beef stew. Yeah. Beef I've stew. I've never heard of that before. Denny's? No, oh. it's Denty Moore. They, they, they serve it in the grocery stores. Yeah. You get a can of beef stew called Denny Moore. Oh. I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's very good, but that's exactly what it looks like. 100% straight out of the Love can. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Now I gotta find out if it's better than Denny Moore, so we're gonna try the beef organ on here. Maria, how's that beer flight for you? Okay, it's better than Denny Moore. It is really good. Only one more cookie to go, Mom. Look at that. I know. We did good. I think we're gonna go and get the, I don't know how I'm saying it right, but it looks good. It's near the port of entry where we're at. And we have completely tried all of them almost. Oh, what about the gingerbread cookie? Man, we're gonna have to pass up the gingerbread one unless we cut through there. You want a bonus cookie? You want a seventh cookie? The seventh cookie. All right, we'll try to do a gingerbread then. <laughs> All right, now time to get the new cookie. And I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it right, Alpha Jorge's? I think so, but this is the newest one of the year other than the other sugar cookies. And I'm excited to try it. And that's gonna be our final cookie, even though my mom wants the gingerbread cookie. So we'll see if we can make it happen. And do Living With The Land. And see the projection show on Spaceship Earth. There's a lot. Here it is, the Noche Buena. Uh, holiday kitchen and they actually have impossible chur uh, chorizo tamale pernell which is a uh, moho pork and also the cookie that i was telling you about this is the newest one so i'm excited to try it i think we're gonna get maybe the pork and the, the cookie and this is gonna complete our cookie stroll we did it this is it we did it bon one did last it. cookie one last cookie Oh my lord, we had done goofed. We've completed the cookie stroll a while ago because the sixth cookie is the winning, the prize cookie, and we didn't need to get five. 
We didn't need to get six. We only needed to get five. Yeah. How funny is that? But hey, we got it anyway. Here are the cookies and then the moho pork. And I didn't even know what was inside here. Look at that. It looks so good. And I didn't know also that we only needed five cookies. So we are done. We didn't need to get that one, but it's a bonus one. And I guess we're just going to dive in. <laughs> It's so great to be able to do this with a big group of people because you don't have to finish all the food and everyone gets to try a little bit like as we were cutting up the donuts and some of the cookies. My mom wants to cheers every single cookie though. I, I feel like uh, she's in the cheers in spirit. I, I must get it from her. Also, mom, did you did you steal those glasses? I did not. I found them here. Yeah, yeah. You tried to steal those. Those are property of Walt Disney World. Oh, yeah. They're right. just going to try the alfalfa cookie. We're all trying the cookie here. Grab some of the cookie there. This is the newest cookie this year. We got a cheers though. We got a cheers. Cheers. Cookie cheers. 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 <laughs> cheers. Yeah. I switched out my hats because Maria gave me one of her new uh, Donald Duck hats and it's from LBV, Lake Buena Visitor, so you guys will have to check them out. But I like it. It kind of looks like a duck bill on here. And we're going to try the cookie. Mmm. Wow. Oh my lord. I feel like the Linzer cookie might have competition here. Yeah, huh? yeah you agree too? Just like it. The li with caramel. With, yeah. The Linzer cookie has competition here. Yep. There we go. We have made it to the holiday sweets and treats. This is the redemption area since we've completed the holiday cookie stroll. I feel so accomplished. We did it. Time to redeem. Love it. Oh wow, you get a pin this year. Look at this, oh Guardians of the Galaxy! Holiday special. Honestly, out of all the years that I have been doing this uh, cookie stroll, this is probably the coolest thing that they gave away as a reward. Now, just be mindful that you got to experience all this and all the cookies were only three dollars a piece so technically you only spent fifteen dollars to eat five cookies we'll get six cookies and to get the guardians of the galaxy holiday special pin and that is such i mean that is such an awesome thing i am so happy i'm not gonna eat my cookie today though i'm gonna keep it and save it but that is so cool What'd you guys think of an opening day festival? It's a lot, right? Yeah. Non-stop, go, go, go. Mm -hmm. Tons of people. Tons of people. Tons. We navigated it pretty well, though. We got through a lot. We got to, we did try almost everything, at least one thing from every booth, except for Japan. We only missed one booth, I think, right? And oh, and Hawaii, Mali Kaliki Maki, yeah. So. Last time we did it, I don't think it was this jammed at all. It wasn't opening day. Oh, baby, yeah. yeah, today's opening day. And Thanksgiving, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lot, yeah. yeah. And I guess with that, we are calling it a night here. I'm sad that we missed the holiday projection show on Spaceship Earth. I don't even know why I call it projections because it's just lighting, but we did miss it. A couple of things we couldn't get our chance to do, including the candlelight processional, but I'll be back. We've got the whole month of December, and I feel like today we did a great job covering all the food, and I got to show my mom and sister a lot of stuff. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.